Welcome to our live broadcast from the North Texas Fair and Rodeo, powered in part by Low Voltage Solutions and Classic of Denton. You got time to make it to the, it to like the fair and hear him play. Yes. So, okay, so you, obviously you're in the Texas country scene. Have you always, has country always been your thing? I know you have a history in Nashville doing some writing and. Yeah. I have a long history uh, with music, and I did not, I'm like you, I didn't discover the Texas country thing until later. Um, I started listening to country music actually in high school, and uh, that was in the 90s, back before the turn of the century. <laughs> 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 anyway. Hey, hey, when I turned on the knob, I, I dusted off the old antenna. And He's I, a comedian, too. I listened to oh, Garth Brooks. I think Brooks. he's just showing Garth his age. Brooks. It's okay. <laughs> Garth Brooks and Alan <laughs> Jackson and George Strait, those are the guys that, uh, I mean, I could go on. Randy Travis and Mark Chestnut. A lot of those guys are from Texas. So that that's what I heard on the radio. So that's kind of what got me into country music. And then it was actually later in life that I sort of discovered the Texas singer-songwriters like Robert Earl Keane and, uh, you know, Jerry Jeff Walker and sort of that whole crew and then the some of the... I mean, there's so much great music out there. I, I find myself going backwards in time as much as I go mm -hmm. forwards, if that makes any mm -hmm. sense, you know, because you can go to Willie and Waylon and then, and see, I didn't, I missed that stuff. I didn't grow up listening to that because mm. my parents uh, were listening to soft hits of the 70s, 80s, <laughs> and 90s, <laughs> like Gloria Estefan <laughs> and stuff. So, you know, I, uh, I've, I'm, put it this way. I'm in country music because I love it, mm. and um, and I'm in Texas country music because I, I love the authenticity of the music down here, and I'm proud to be a small, small part of it. Awesome. Love hear hearing that. That's really mm. cool. So, um, since country hasn't always been your thing, what... Oh, we kind of talked... You touched a little bit on this, but what, what about Texas country um, do you connect with more like in regards to how country's kind of changed in the pop yeah. country nashville country realm well i think that there has been sort of an overall uh mm, what do you i forget the word where where companies all get bought up by other companies mm -hmm. what do you call it consolidation or whatever that has happened in radio it has happened in the record labels and so you end up with a thing that's very sort of corporate feeling mm -hmm. and it's driven by like products and and quarterly profits and some dude in some office in New York is saying, well, this test, is this test well? Is this gonna sell, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't know, to me, that's what it's become. And in Texas, I feel like it's still the old school, like go out there, put on a good show sell your CDs out of your trunk of your car, or these days, your little downloads on, you know, <laughs> on, on Apple, iTunes, or whatever. But the point is, is that you make, you build your fan base one show at a time, you make your, your own music your own way, and, um, and, and, you know, there are fans that support you and make that possible. There are radio stations here in Texas that will still you know, let you show up and play on the air and they'll play your music even though you're an independent artist. So it's old school like that. And for me, it's old school in a good way because it allows artists to be themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, because Texas music is so different. It's so diverse. Well, that's what you get when people are just being themselves. Mm -hmm. You true. know, when everything sounds exactly the same, it's because there's a dude in an office somewhere, like calling the shots, making it that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that's my opinion. No, yeah, I've noticed that just in my tiny little bit of experience <coughs> in an, in the Texas country on the outside, of course, because yeah. whatever. But um, but yeah, I can appreciate that making honest music that's true to yourself, and not overproduced, and nobody else is calling the shots but you. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and there's a lot of talent in Nashville. Tons of talent, you know, and and uh, I, I, you know, I'm. I've got a lot of friends up there and stuff, but I do. I, I know that they all feel that pressure to, to, to do whatever is selling right now today, mm -hmm. more so than maybe than what they feel in their heart. And that's that's rough, man. I've got a low tolerance for for jumping through somebody else's hoops. Mm -hmm. That's Texas, baby. Come and take it. <laughs> <laughs> 
now that we ended like ended that on a good note, <laughs> it was going it was going very deep down there. I didn't know if we were gonna pull it back, <laughs> but we did. Um, so touching on the fair part, I know you always bring yeah. your kids out here. I do. Did you let them get on any spinny rides this year? So, this year, sadly. My third grade boy, Buck, and my, my little girl, Gentry, and my wife, Jody, were not able to come oh, to no. the fair. Yeah, I know. I was bummed. I ended up just watching Game of Thrones on the bus instead. <laughs> uh, no, that's was, not all you did. I saw you doing pull-ups. I did do a few pull-ups. I had to... Uh, <laughs> So I, the Marines are here. They got their pull-up bar, and they're always taunting you like, hey, dude, you, think you want to see how many pull-ups you can do? And you're supposed to do 20 to get the, the shirt. So I turned 40 this year, and I've never done the 20 pull-ups. I've always done, like, I peter out at, like, 15 or something. So this year I've been training for, for the moment. North Texas State <laughs> Fair. Training. And uh, I did 23. Got me the shirt. Nice. Nice. Curiously, they did not ask me to sign up. I don't know. <laughs> just, I think that the 40-year-old thing turned them off, I guess. So if y'all want to see that, you definitely have to follow us hey, on Snapchat. I don't know why they didn't ask me to sign the papers. <laughs> hey. Well, if Zane makes it to 11 o'clock or goes to bed, <laughs> he's due to play. So yeah. y'all don't, <laughs> don't miss him. He's going to be on the Bud Light stage right after Mr. Josh Abbott, the Josh Abbott band. They're going to be on the Budweiser stage, but don't miss Zane. He's obviously going to be a good time if his mm -hmm. walker makes it around the yeah. stage, all right? Why did they have to make these daggum <laughs> stairs so steep? <laughs> so y'all come do it, Cowboy Zoo, and we'll see you at the fair. Thank you. Have a great night. Thanks for joining us on Denton Radio. This is uh, Well, thank Hall. you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the show. For more Denton information and entertainment, visit DentonRadio.com and check out our list of Denton podcasts. While you're surfing the Internet, make sure to check out our friends Low Voltage Solutions and Classic of Denton.